Skipper Chug of the Santa Rocco defied the storm to catch tuna. Spirits are high in the wheelhouse. Pretty happy with what we caught. The way the weather was and that being, you know, 30 knots plus and gusting up the 40 and for what we caught, you know, you can't complain. You've got to push it to go out now and again. Otherwise, you've got to wait for a nice day every day, you'll never work. But the Santa Rocco's a big boat to fill. So veteran skipper Chug quickly starts the four hour process of putting 2,200 hooks in the water. Throwing these over, make sure they don't hit the boat. The first beacon in the water marks the start of the 50 kilometre line. There are 12 beacons along the Santa Rocco's line, each one sending a radio signal showing its position. A set is the 200 hooks between each beacon. Shooting away, can't be any happier. Chug may be happy, but the crew has a long afternoon. Chug can also think like a decky. Get out the back deck, give the boys a bit of a hand. Like that, I always help them out. Like that, they give you a bit more respect. You stand back and do nothing, they only winch. So it's nothing like coming out and having a good crew. Got a good crew, makes life a lot easier. There's a new deckhand on board. Joel is learning the ropes from Chuck, who wants to make sure he's safe shooting the line. Well, just keep an eye on the swivel, that's it. Once the swivel's clear all that, you've got no worries. For someone to come out green and pick it up, you know, it's, it's hard for them. You know, they might get seasick or they just can't handle long hours or they might get scared when you're in a bit of sea, a bit of bad weather, they get a bit scared. Don't throw it out too early. Wait till he clips it up, then you throw it out. The biggest risk for Joel is getting a hook caught in his hand, pulling him overboard. The second biggest is taking Chug too seriously. Now, if you get a hook in here with him, you've got to wait for us to winch up and pick you back up. We'll chuck you a bubble. So you don't get tired, Joel, we'll chuck you a bubble. <laughs> this is longline fishing, one of the toughest jobs in Australia. 